Senator Jim Inhofe, the notorious climate change denier, took to the floor of Congress to rail against the fact that there was an official recognition of global warming. Let's listen. Controlling carbon is a bureaucrat's dream. He said, if you control carbon, you control life. This is what bureaucrats would like to do. You understand that. I'd say to the chair, because he has served in the other house, is new uh, here in the Senate. Lindsay also said, talking about Al Gore, Al Gore at that time was vice president of the United States. He was the one that was really, really pushing this. He says, to treat all change as something to fear is bad enough. To do so in order to exploit that fear is much worse. And of course, what he was talking Lindzen, MIT, was the fact that Al Gore at that time, they had speculated that he would be the first environmental billionaire. That was speculated in the New York Times. So anyway, after that happened, all the other scientists started checking in. These are scientists that cannot be challenged, these individuals. We have hundreds more, but I have a, 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 a make on each one of these that I'd be glad to discuss or debate with anyone. But at the same time, other things were happening. The, one of the universities uh, here in Virginia commissioned a poll to be done of all the weather casters of, uh, in, on TV. They came back that 63 percent of the weather casters said that any global warming that occurs is, uh, is a result of natural variation and not human activities. Uh, my good friend, uh, Senator Whitehouse, had an amendment. The amendment was one sentence. It says that uh, uh, global warming, uh, no, I'm sorry, climate change is real, and, and, uh, what it, was, it is not a hoax. And, and it is not a hoax. Well, there's a rule against talking about your own books on the Senate floor, so I can't do that, but that, that hoax came from a totally different interpretation. Hoax was the idea that this is happening, climate change, but it's due to man-made gases. In other words, man is causing that. So what I said on the Senate floor today, I said, how arrogant is it for people to say that man can do something about changing climate? Climate has always changed. And I, I, I quoted this morning, I said it's changed. You go back and read the, the, um, the, the uh, look at the archaeological findings. They talk about uh, climate uh, from the beginning of time has changed and changed both ways. Uh, they talk about it and the scriptures talk about it. Did you just reference scripture in a discussion about climate change? You trust the historical record of the Bible on the issue of climate change? Oh my god, this guy's so stupid it hurts. He's like, how arrogant to think that man can change the climate. That's ridiculous. Is it really? So I guess what? Gorillas drive cars? Is that what happened? They run uh, coal companies? Is that what happened? He says, well, weathermen don't believe in it, so there, uh, that's it. I, oh, I guess the debate's settled now because a weatherman doesn't believe in it. You know what the weathermen do, right? They show the weather for the week. That's it. That's it. They're not scientists. They're not scientists. This idea that, like, oh, they have some sort of expertise. Nonsense! They get makeup put on their face, they stand in front of a screen, and they point to shit. It's going to be 74 degrees over the weekend. All right, everybody, break out the short sleeve shirts. That's the guy you want to go to over the people with the degrees who are climate scientists who have dedicated their lives to looking at the trends. And again, weather and climate are separate. Weather is what's happening right, right then and there with the weather. Climate is when you take all the different weather events over an extended period of time and you look at the trend and the pattern. And look, man... There's so many parts to the climate change is a hoax movement that just don't make any sense whatsoever. So when they're like, controlling climate, uh, controlling carbon, excuse me, is a bureaucrat's dream. They never go on to explain why. Why is that a bureaucrat's dream? Well, of course they want to control the carbon because then what? Well, if they control the carbon, Kyle, then what they're able to do is... No, I don't see where that's going. What, what do you mean? That doesn't go anywhere. There is no end to that thought, which is rational. And they try, to, they try to do this thing, which I call flip the conspiracy, where they say, no, Al Gore, I mean, he's the problem. This asshole wants to make a billion dollars on this hoax. No, 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 no. You want to know where the real profit motive is and the real open conspiracy is? It's the oil companies! 
They're the ones who have paid scientists, a few of them, to say, nope, climate change isn't happening, nope, 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 so look away and let me continue to make the money and make incredible profits with my oil. So the conspiracy is the open conspiracy with the people who are paying people to say climate change uh, isn't happening. The, the conspiracy is not with the fucking uh, government institutions and the universities who have people that make $30,000 a year who are coming back with this research that says, uh, this is a problem and we might want to do something about it. There is no conflict of interest and there is no, uh, you know, want for more government money among the scientists who make shit to study this anyway. Who makes more money, the oil companies or some scientist at a university who's looking into this? Hmm, let me think about it.